Hello and welcome to the second part of Beyond Horizons, Trends, Niches and Fields. And in this one I want to get into a little bit into trends and into niches. So trends in a way are the things that are popular. Often is of course more, more into the bigger companies and the consuming side of the world. However, it doesn't mean it doesn't have a space for an entrepreneur, duopreneurs, small businesses. So the trends are just kind of indicating what is going on in the world from a perspective of business, of exchanging services and products. I think in a nutshell, this is what it is. Now, 2021 is surely a very interesting one. Most of us have spent a year of resetting, reorganizing, rethinking our business, our professions. And so the trends are very different maybe from years before. And so it is important that we look at the new trends that are coming out and just explore if we kind of fit now, when I say fit, I don't mean squeeze. I don't mean that we don't have a chance to be still eclectic. This is one. We can be in more than one trend. And secondly, it doesn't mean you need to fulfill the entire prescription. So it is more like this is the general idea about this trend. So let's explore if there is a way that you could have a part of this where your voice can be heard, where your showing up makes a difference for the world, for your clients, for your students, whatever you have. So I want to look at one trend that came up that I'd never heard before because it's 2021 and, and let's talk a little bit about it. It's called the metamorphic design. Of course, you can imagine I was immediately excited because of course I love dragonflies and butterflies and that whole sense of metamorphosis. And so it was interesting to read because it seems to be as if customers want products or services or experiences that are more relevant. So of course for big company that means one thing, for small company it means another thing. And it is interesting, but for instance, this whole idea of looking beyond horizons, your fields, your niches, your trends, and those five elements that I have woven into it is actually such a design. I would have not necessarily thought about that or considered to share this with you if I wouldn't feel that this is relevant for many of us to actually starting appreciating what is around me and how can I use it. And it doesn't mean I have to be mainstream. It doesn't, have to mean, it doesn't mean I have to be conspiracy. I don't have to be left. I don't have to be right. I just can be me. So it is very interesting, I feel, to find your way in those trends or not. So metamorphic design, you can already see, that excited me. And from there, I can then figure out how that fits into our line, how that fits into our business, how that fits into our endeavors, into our courses and whatever we are doing. So that is one. Out of the ordinary business side, mindfulness is still a really big trend. Everybody is into mindfulness and mindfulness meditations and all of that. Now, I have really gone deeper into it because I considered if this is maybe one of my trends that I could ride on. And I found out, no. Ceci and I are in our base is very connected to spirit within, to the heart, hence Sonko's worlds, the worlds of the heart. And mindfulness is really about the mind. It's about learning to focus utilizing the mind, understanding the science behind it. And it's very beautiful. But really, I can't 
do much for you in this because for me meditation has to do with the connection within it's more based in advaita or in shamanic journeying and all these things so it doesn't mean that if you are into mindfulness you cannot be into meditation as well but i cannot tell you that i do mindfulness if this is not what i do does that make any sense for you so trends are very important for us to figure out because then we can actually be very honest with our client we can really say where we are at we can say which part we are contributing to and we can take that down of course as far as we wish and for instance with a metamorphic design we can take that obviously into our sound design for many different occasions of course but it's always based in that connectedness to within and of course for us the nature is the air because it has to do with the voice the the way we show up in the world and the trends is more like the water so trends and niches can really help us a lot to figure out how we can ride the wave how we can voice ourselves again and show up so in the classes of course we get much more into that but this is the the general idea and then of course again always that connectedness how do we connect that's a very important thing to us how do we connect all these things together how do they weave together so that they really give an authentic and a true picture of you in the world so people can choose you and you can choose them so i hope that helps a little bit and yes we go into more detail but i guess you have a little idea how trends and natures can really work for you and become your element of water and air and because i started in the first one with a little sound i will continue with that and for this one here i would like this sound to really touch you within and maybe connect to a trend that you can think about that you maybe know about and just see how that resonates within you so let me give a few that are relevant for many of us so maybe you can pick one of those three so maybe you can consider the virtually grounded which is something that maybe applies for almost all of us in these days the metamorphic design i think is quite nice too i've already shared with you what it means in general and maybe let's stick with the mindfulness because we were already there so choose one of those three mindfulness metamorphic design and virtually grounded and just feel which one resonates most and then the sound is going to take you on a ride or not and if you can't ride it then you're not in that trend how does that feel this one hope you're getting a little sense hope you're getting a little idea thank you for being here right until the end always appreciate it if you like it you know how to get in touch with us and have a beautiful day <laughs>